have you ever tried machining Inconel 718 on a mini lathe? Um, it's, it's one of the toughest materials you can face. And um, today I'm giving it a try for my own RC turbine engine. Hi guys, I'm Alfonso. I've been an engineer in the space industry for more than 40 years, and now I'm sharing my passion for CNC hobby machines. For years, I've dreamed of building my own RC turbine engine, and now I finally feel ready to, to make it happen. In this first part, I'll face the most demanding components. The turbine disc and the nozzle guide vanes both need to be made of Inconel 718, uh, heat resistant nickel alloy used in real turbine engines. I'll share what worked, what failed, and how I solved it. When it comes to machining Inconel, I learned three key things. First, Use high quality inserts with titanium aluminum nitride coating. This time, I chose Hass inserts. Second, start with the manufacturer's cutting data, then reduce it significantly for a small lathe. And third, and most important, use a proper liquid cooling system. Um, without it, the tool burns almost instantly. To make things compact, I designed and 3D printed my own coolant tank. It holds the pump inside and keeps everything together. Uh, printed it in PTG, glued the two halves and tested it with water. After several hours, no leaks. Perfect. But when I filled it with coolant, it started leaking everywhere. Why was it waterproof with water but not with coolant? The, the answer, the soap in the coolant lowers surface tension, allowing liquid to pass through the microscopic porosity of the printed part. After some research, I found two solutions. Change the print settings to um, make the walls denser or seal the surface with epoxy. I chose the epoxy method and it worked great. Once the varnish was dry, I uh, mounted the tank on the lathe. Everything fit perfectly, and the coolant system was finally working um, as expected. Time to test it. Here you can see the tool cutting in Canal 718 at a very low speed. Um, the finish is surprisingly good and um, 
with the with the coolant the the insert lasts much longer um, I'm also using my recently installed electronic lead screw for automatic turning and tapering a great upgrade for this mini lathe Working with Inconel 718 on a mini lathe is definitely possible, but patience is key. A cooling system is mandatory, um, and using quality inserts makes a huge difference. So next I'll finish these parts on my CNC milling machine, and that's coming in part two. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you did, uh, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss part two of this RC Turbine project. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.